when Bill plays, he's going to make people forget Drake Jackson. I think he's already forgot, man. And I hate that. You know, that tape was bad. And so it shut down back to back years. It hurts. It hurts. And I hate that. Um, I hate that right here. Carlos, how long until Oren Burks is dethroned by one of the rookies, D winners or Jalen Graham? Um, I don't think it's happening this year. One D winners is just still playing will linebacker. So that's not an option. D winners is just a backup to Dre Greenlaw. Um, and even if Dre Greenlaw went down, I think they still move Oren Burks over Jalen Graham is playing the Mike spot in the same spot. So Jalen Graham would be the one. But based on what we saw in preseason, Jalen Graham and D. Winters splash amazing players. A lot of inconsistencies, a lot of big plays given up. It's not the Shanahan way. It's just not. So the only way that that could take place is in the offseason. I think even with an injury to Fred Warner or Dre Greenlaw, I don't think we're going to see those rookies. I think we see Oren Burks or we see DFF. It, they just, and it's weird because, you know, you watch the Seattle Seahawks, rookies all over the place. You watch the Eagles, rookies all over the place. It's just a difference in philosophy. Shanahan, and this was a D.C. thing way back with Sala. This was a D.C. thing with uh, D'Amico. And now it's the thing with Steve Wilkes. Man, rookies can get a shot with injuries. That's it. That's it. What rookies are playing this year? The kicker? <laughs> That's it. I, I mean, you're not seeing anybody. Like, like, we can go through the only rookie we're seeing was because of the Huff injury, right? And, man, Jair Brown, that dude, he's freaking balling out. Jake Moody, kicker. Uh, Cameron Law, too, he's on IR, can't play. Daryl Luter, Jr., special teams only. Robert Bill just got activated, probably special teams only. D. Winters, special teams only. Braden Willis, special teams only. Ronnie Bell, special teams only if Brandon Ayuk gets hurt. He's still... Only taking snaps at the true X, the Brandon Ayuk spot. He's not taking slot snaps uh, behind Jennings. He, he's not taking Debo snaps. He's just taking Ayuk snaps. Jalen Graham, special teams only. Now, you look at, here, I'll pull it up. Let, let's play the Eagles. Let, let's talk about the Eagles. Team draftees, the rookies. Jalen Carter's playing 10 games. Nolan Smith's played 11 games. Uh, Sidney Brown. They're kind of Hufunga light. Their safety, he's played all the freaking time. Ringo, their corner, he's getting some corner snaps, but mostly special teams. Like, they're playing their guys. Seattle's playing their guys. Kyle Shanahan, red shirts. I don't want negatives. They'll learn in practice. They'll learn, and when they get their opportunity, we'll see if they serves it. Um, so special teams, you need some help there. I want it to be Taylor Hawkins. We'll find out the day before the game. Saturday, they'll announce who's being moved up. Um, that that one's going to be interesting to see because you got to get some safety. Yeah, you, you need safety help. You have no depth. Gibbs been awesome. Jair Brown, man, let's talk about Jair Brown. Um, you know, you talk about just how he played in two games now. He's really played six quarters, but man, he's been really, really good. Now you look at the, what's it called? He was the seventh highest rated player, played 56, all 56 snaps against the Seahawks. Finished with a 73.9 grade, uh, five tackles, one missed tackle. Yeah, he got juked. Just like Hufunga, it was like the same damn play. His ACL just didn't bust. Swing pass to the running back out in the flat. Jair gave him a two-way go and just got shook. Um, it was bad. I mean, he didn't even get a hand on him. The one good thing was, he did force the ball carrier to cut inside to the linebackers, which helped. But, again, we're talking Jair Brown. He gave up three catches on three targets for 13 yards. <laughs> like, that's awesome. That's really, really good. You look at his numbers as far as coverage, great, great. 69.4, nice. Run defense, 68.5, solid. Like, he's just solid. There were a few plays that he cut in on some in-breaking routes with some really good coverage, even disguised a quarters to a cover three, which was really, really good. He buzzed down, and I was like, ooh. And I was, I was, you know, breaking down the play. And I'm like, quarters coverage, ooh, no, it's not. Uh, he got me. He got me, <laughs> which I like that from the rook and the violence. You go back and you watch, you know, Jair Brown and Penn State. That dude would come up and just slam people. 
You know what I mean? You put them in the goal line, which we never got to see with um, the Seahawks because they couldn't get that close. But it's like he loves being in the goal line because he wants to play a linebacker. He's a safety. He's got speed. He's a ball hawk, all those things. Dude wants to be a linebacker. He wants to be a sledgehammer. And we, I saw it a few plays. DJ Dallas, man, how big is DJ Dallas? I'm curious about this. Because whenever I, you, you look at him, and that dude is a freaking bowling ball. 5'10", 214. He's a big dude. And there was a play where he went straight up the A-gap. Linebackers got reached. Jair Brown comes down and just freaking, whew. Not so much that like he like destroyed him or anything like that. It was just two heavyweights freaking full speed, lowering their shoulders, perfect form, wham, like you felt it on the tape. Next play, he goes out and does the same damn thing again to a tight end. And it's like, all right. Like, he's putting his stamp on his play style. And that's huge for a young buck that's getting to start on this defense. And now you're starting to transition from the things that you love seeing him do at Penn State, completely different level. I know... Big Ten's for real, and he played against some elite talent. I get that. But transitioning the way in which you play and leaving your impact in college to now primetime NFL, Thursday Thanksgiving game on the road? Whoo! Right? Like, that's huge. And so you're starting to see the things that we fell in love with. The 49ers trade up for one draft pick this year. One. In fact, the 49ers have traded up for one draft pick in two years. Only once. Jair Brown. Starting to pay dividends. And damn, damn good draft pick so far. Um, have not done Flint says, How was Looter on special teams? Last week, incredible. I've I've done all the offense and defensive breakdowns so far. Uh, my special teams breakdown I'm gonna do in the morning. Um, so that will be available on the 49ersrush.com and on uh what's it called? Uh, our Patreon channel. But uh, let's just I'll, I'll jump to the PFF scores really, really quick. He was the third highest rated player. Samuel Womack won. Yeah, who would have guessed that? Him coming back, playing 18 snaps, highest-rated player. Ronnie Bell, two. Bell's been a beast. And Daryl Luter, three. Freaking every time, man. And, you know, to, somebody brought up D-Winners earlier, lowest-rated player on special teams. He got 19 snaps, lowest-rated. DFF, right there next to him. So, and R- Roger, thank you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Uh, he says, yeah, sorry, he was talking about Odom. Sorry about that. Flynn, he says, sorry if I'm being annoying. Be annoying, man. This is our team. This is the biggest week of the year. Be annoying. I don't give a damn about that. No precedent set here. He says, I'm just stoked he's playing finally. He was my favorite draftee. He was he was fun, man. And it was easy because it was hard to get excited when you don't have a first-round pick, you don't have a second-round pick. We don't even have our third-round pick. We have comp picks in the third round, but then they traded it up. It was easy to get excited for him. It really, really was. Now, this upcoming year, we're always trying to balance future and past. 49ers have a first-round pick. They have their second-round pick. They have their third-round pick. They have a third-round comp pick. And they got all these other picks. Uh, How many picks are we up to? I think we have We got 12 picks currently. 49ers schedule for 12 picks. Draft's going to be in Detroit. I'm going to be there. I don't have tickets up yet. I'm going to get a player to come out with us, a current player from the current roster to come party with us. So anyway, for your last weekend of April, y'all clear your calendars. We're going to party up in Detroit for the 49ers draft. I want to pull all the stops out on this one because I love the draft so much and we haven't had it <laughs> in a long damn time. So uh, anyway, uh, we're going to be up in Detroit. We're going to get an awesome venue. You're already uh, in talks with some people out there, and uh, we're going to set that up. The 49ers Rush Podcast. 